Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? This reading is for you. Okay, Leo. Okay, so I'm going to clear the energy really quick. Okay. So, Leo, I want to look into you and another person. The energy between you and a person on your mind, the energy between that you hold and that another, whatever this other enter energy is that you are interested in finding out answers to. This could be some sort of project that you're pursuing, something with career, with a friendship. This could be romance. Um, I want to see kind of like more towards what comes out. But um, I'm going to get your energy and the other energy that you're dealing with and clarify this so you can get some answers, so you can get some peace of mind, okay, going forward. And you have the moth card here that came flying out first. Moths symbolize transformation, but they also symbolize that you're in a higher vibration and that there is something that is coming for you, a greater gift that is coming for you. Also keep getting, I keep seeing swans for you guys as well. So I feel like some immense psychic gifts are coming forward for you. Um, you're now learning to utilize energy that you have and understand downloads that you're getting. I feel like for a lot of you, you have been getting a lot of things for a long time, but now you're starting to understand what it means Whereas before you didn't know, you know, and you're getting, you're seeing the stronger effects that this is having on you as well. You, you just have this good fortune energy, you know, like finding an oyster uh, in the ocean is just like, you know, something special that you found that you have been, you know, looking for that you've been hoping for that you've been wanting here. So you have very blessed energy at this time. You have a very high vibration um, going on here that, you know, has been a long time coming here for you. This has been something that it's like, you know, struggles have been made. And, you know, oysters, you know, this is like a fully grown oyster too, you know. They latch on um, baby oysters, latch on to um, bigger oyster shells. And you can actually take oyster shells that you have eaten and you can put these shells back into the ocean. And if you gather them in these like mesh bags, um, you know, the mesh bags so that like sea life can get through. Um, and the bags hold all these oysters in it and you put them on the line together in the ocean, right? This creates a new coral reef where other oysters will, baby oysters will latch on to these shells and um, new coral reef will grow. This is how we can restore our coral reef. So there is something here with you that was... I don't want to say damage, but yeah, it's like people took advantage of you. You know, like we're so in love with the coral reef. Everybody wants to go swim there. We want to go snorkel there. We want to see it. We want to be a part of it. But when you get too close to stuff like that, you can destroy it, you know, and it needs to be respected and understood how to utilize it. And that's something that's happening here. You're learning and understanding how to utilize something, how to perfect it. It's like singers, you know, they can't sing all the time. They have to take care of their voice, <laughs> you know, because they can lose their voice. And especially with age, you know, they can lose their voice or, you know, if you don't take care of this, you need to do that. And there's people that have to cancel shows because they don't, they didn't take care of their voice, you know? So it's just like coming across as like, you learned how to take care of something. You learned how to take care of yourself. You learned how to protect yourself with the seashell here that's covering the oyster. And now you found something here. You found something that you've been looking for for a long, long time. And look at this hummingbird. So you have a new beginning. 
Hummingbirds symbolize a new beginning. They symbolize, you know, those moments when the fairy tale happens and it's real and it's not a fairy tale, it's reality. You know, if you think about a hummingbird and how just crazy it is that we have these beautiful, remarkable little creatures. I mean, how enchanting are they, right? And you can uh, get one to eat right out of your hand, you know? So it's like you're learning to do something that is kind of a miracle. You're making something that's like a fairy tale or a miracle or something like that. You're making that possible. You're making that tangible in your life here. This is something really beautiful that is possible, is real, is you, you know? And you have the horse card here. So there's no blocks going forward, that's for sure. You're free. You're free in your energy. And you know, you know, there's the horses do not question. There's something about heart here. Something very important, because if you think uh, of like the heart of the matter, like the core of the oyster is like what everybody is wanting to eat here. And think about the hummingbird and how their heart beats, you know, so many times a minute, it's like a crazy amount. And uh, if you think about the, the horse, you know, the way that they run free and in the wild, in the open, it's like the heartbeat of the earth hearing horses run you can just feel this in your chest when you feel when you hear them running out in the wild you know if you've ever gotten a chance to see something like that it's just something so beautiful so free about it all and so there is something here that is a fairy tale that is becoming true and there's no blocks ahead you'll be able to run free with this you're able to really create here with this this represents something that is your heart and soul and building it into a new lifestyle, into a new way of life for yourself. You know, and you have the frog card here. So there's very fairy tale energy. You know, frogs are very fairy tale. It's like a fairy tale romance here, also possible. So I want to look at this other energy here that's coming out for you guys. Let's see the energy of this other energy. The energy of this other energy. Let's see what's going on here. Beaver. This is hard work and dedication, obviously. Beavers represent hard work, dedication. They represent uh, a knowledge, knowing what ways work and what ways don't work. It's very grounded energy, very practical, grounded, wholesome energy coming forward here dedication devotion beavers are very 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 devoted and responsible they're honest and trustworthy it's like what you see is what you get and that's how i feel with this person um there's a transformation that this person has made um there, there, you know, there's a major transformation that they had to make in their life. Um, for some of you, you know, there is something here that you've been working really hard at that you've poured a lot of energy into and you have transitioned with this. You're making this into something more than it's like getting off the ground here, you know, with the butterfly. But it's, it's like a grounded energy and doing all of this hard work. But then we're soaring to new heights here with the butterfly. We're making new things possible. We're opening up more things, more opportunities for this. For some of you, this is a person who, you know, they have gone through a difficult time. They have gone through a difficult time and they have come out on the other side. This is a person that's very dedicated and hardworking. They could have had to leave their family behind, move away from their family. And they, it's like everyone in the family does this particular thing for their occupation. And, you know, this person went along and played their part for a while, but then they seized their opportunity. Like they worked, this is like the energy of someone who worked really hard very, very hard to save money, right? And very methodically, very, you know, they everything by the book and 
then they finally got this opportunity to transform and to they had enough money to pursue their dream here so this is something that you know it's very interesting energy you have the crocodile here this could be a person that you know it's like they could be in the same area as you and you don't even know it. Because it's like crocodiles can be in a swamp and you can't even see them. You don't even know. They see you way before you see them. So this person sees you before you see them. This opportunity, there is something here. There is like also the, like a work opportunity. There is somebody who has a master at something in a field of what it is that you're wanting to do. And this person is going to see you, scout you, spot you, come to you. And it's like some of you are going to get to meet an idol or work with someone who has a lot of experience. And it's like their ways, their methods are phenomenal. And to get to work with them, to get to learn with them is amazing. But also to be able to put your own spin on it with this butterfly card is, is really beautiful, you know. And transforming something into very being very, very powerful energy. Because, you know, crocodiles have been since dinosaurs, right? Crocodiles have been along for, around for, you know, a long time. A long, 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 long time. So it's like figuring out what is working and doing it and doing it and doing it. And there's no improvement needed. So this person is very evolved and they, it's like, what it is that they're doing, there's a lot of security in it. And who they are, there's a lot of security in it. There is nobody else, you know, for you. And I feel like you know that with this person. This is very interesting energy that you have coming in for you you know this used to be a person that worked really hard for a greater cause for everything else and then there was a transformation that came into play because you know crocodiles they don't have to hunt all the time you know and they're not um you know they like hunt something when they you know when they're hungry when they need to eat and it's like you know i don't know i think they can go like two years without eating Maybe not that long, but it's like they can go like six months, two months. They can go and ex when you hear the amount of time, I remember thinking, well, that's a long time. So they can go a while without eating, you know. There's somebody here that's very protective over you as well because it's like there's certain crocodiles that it's like, and again with the crocodile, this is fairy tale energy. It's giving me Princess and the Frog vibes. That means something might mean something to you. New Orleans may mean something to you. Um... It's like giving me protective energy and they win. <laughs> you know, that's why crocodiles are still around today is because there isn't a predator that can like really compete with them. So they're, all, they're their own worst enemy, <laughs> really. You know, so it's like you have figured out within yourself, you have transformed to a point and then you're going to figure out how to be, you know, the top competitor. Nobody can compete with you. And there isn't like all this running around and hard work that you have to do and all of this transformation that you have to do. You know, gators just like chill. The crocodiles just like chill all day. They do whatever the heck they want. You know, they're not, they don't have to work hard. <laughs> Every now and then they go and they hunt and they eat something. That's about it. You know, that's their life. So it's like, you know, equating that to work, you're coming into a whole new league here where you're not really touchable. So these worries that you had to have and all the hard work and long hours that you had to put in and all the growing and all the healing and all of this, you know, this is paying off for you here. 
Also, I keep getting an energy of a person who's very protective over you. They want to watch out for you. They want to watch out for you and protect you. And I feel like you've never really had that before. That was always a burden for other people that you were with in a relationship. They felt threatened by other people being interested in you. And it became like a competition instead of where they could help you with that, where they could be... Um, protective over you where they could show you that they're confident and they believe that your love will withstand anything you know and that there is not another person that could come in they're not going to blame you for other people having feelings for you when it's unsolicited by you you know what I mean it's like uh you know this is like standing the test of time energy is the crocodile and you know this this What's very interesting is, you know, the crocodile can be seen as very barbaric, right? But, you know, they can be very gentle. You know, they carry their babies in their mouths. So do you know how, you know, delicate you have to be to do something like that? One wrong move and this is a huge problem here. So it's like they know how to be nurturing and they know how to be kind and they don't, you know this other side, this protective nature, the hunting aspect, right? They don't do that where it is not warranted, you know? So this is the kind of person who, you know, their anger, their frustration, they know how to channel that and they know how to utilize that when it is appropriate to do so. And in a way that is appropriate, in a way that is healthy, in a way that works for them. We had the bee and the otter fly out here. Wow. Bees really symbolize, and a lot of decks that I have, not any of the ones I have here, of course, but in some of them, one of them is definitely the bee. There's two bees, and it is, um, is it the lovers or the four? Of, it's the four of wands. The four of wands card. No, the four of wands is the firefly. I think it's the lovers. Definitely symbolizes devotion. Someone who is devoted you know, and the, with the with the beaver and the bee energy, this is someone who is going to treat you with respect, kind of dote on you. <laughs> and I feel like that's something that you want. You don't want to take advantage of that in an unhealthy way, but this person is going to adore you and they're going to treat you with honor and a respect, you know, that you haven't really had before. You have the otter here as well. Otters also symbolize um, a strong spiritual connection with another person, a soulmate. Otters um, float down the river and they hold on to each other when they sleep. So they do not, uh, you know, so this is a person who is going to stand by your side and flow through life with you. When baby otters are born, they cannot swim. So they have to hold on to their mothers. So this is again, a very nurturing energy coming across between you and this person. It's like, they are very devoted to you and they will work and do what it is that they need to do. But then at the same time, you are very nurturing back towards this person. And you're seeing that, you're going to be seeing that you can trust this person and they can trust you. As far as work, also, it feels like you're going from the bee that is working very hard to the otters are very playful, right? So it's like, yeah, keep motivated and keep doing this work that is getting you, you know, somewhere, right? But don't forget to be playful with it. Don't get to enjoy, forget to enjoy it. Don't forget to have fun with it, you know? And this is how you're going to multiply things. Things are going to flow. Things are going to build here and you're going to be able to take care of your family here. Otters are always like, you always see them like in groups, you know. Now there's something that you're creating here that is going to spread out like this web and build and grow and build and grow. And you're going to be able to share this with other people. You're going to be able to take care of other people as well as yourself here with this. So this is like immense, immense amount of financial gains to be had here about something that you're creating that you care a lot about. And this is something that, you know, you're meant to do here. Okay, let's clarify a little bit here, right? Wow. 
I really like this because it's like, you know, the work being put in, the transformations being taken, and then it's like we're going somewhere, you know, taking what you have and using it. And you're doing this and this other person's doing this and you have the wheel of fortune. It's divine timing is now for this to come together for you. This is really beautiful energy here that you're stepping into. It's to, look at this. Two of Cups. This is destiny here stepping in where a partnership is coming in. This can talk about you and your higher self and you and your higher self with the Wheel of Fortune here. Immense things happen when those cards come together. You know, this is somebody coming in for you that you have been wanting for a long, 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 long time. Uh, this is changes that you have been trying to manifest for quite some time as well. This is you know, yeah, you have the two of pentacles here. So this is like, yeah, you've been trying to manifest this, trying to manifest this for quite some time. You've been working, working and working. And then there's a the transformation here with the death card here. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of things. Okay, let's, let's, here. It's like you've been working really hard, working really, really, really hard. And you have the devil card come out here. Look at this empress. Why is devil here? There's something that you're standing your ground in during Capricorn season, during the end of the year. You have the Ten of Wands and you have the Death card here. So there is something that it's like there's a transition that's happening. You know, there is something here that you're changing the way that you're doing it. Because if you were doing something and it's giving you toxic results, it's giving you unwanted results, it's giving you results that you don't want. So it's causing you to go to do things that you don't want. So now you're changing. This is the art of allowing. That's what's happening here. You're learning how to allow someone to come to you instead of trying to force things to happen. Instead of trying to make this work and make that work, make everything else work. You're being more discerning about who gets into your life and who gets into your energy. That's very important for you at this time. It could just be a Capricorn person coming in for you as well. Uh, look at this. You have the Emperor. You're being more discerning. Before, it's like you met somebody toxic and you're like, oh, hey, how are you? You want my heart? Here you go. Get it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> You know, yeah, I saw the good in everybody. You saw the good in everyone. That's great. That is a beautiful gift to have. You can see the great in everybody. But the only people that you let around you, that you let have your heart, emperor. That's what's changing. Look at celebration. Some of you are going to be invited out. Some of you are going to go to a gathering. Some of you are going to go somewhere. Some of you are going to change the group of people. It's going to be something that you're inspired to go do, look into, check out. And you're going to meet somebody new. You're going to meet new people that you're going to be around. And this is how some sort of communication about a relationship is coming in for you. Look at this. You got the Hierophant. You have the um, Ace of Swords and you have the Empress. This is beautiful energy. This could be a Taurus person coming in for you. This could be an Aries person. Doesn't have to be. You have a little bit of Cancer here. You have... Um, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there have been signs. <laughs> there have been signs for you to leave something behind and go somewhere else for some sort of a choice, for some sort of a alignment, for some sort of a blessing to happen here for you. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Something's going to make you very happy. And this is something that within your soul you know that this is right, that this is it. This is something that is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment here. A lot of fulfillment. Wow. Let's see more. I feel like the emperor energy is you. Let's, let's clarify the empress. Could be either way. It doesn't really matter. Could be, you know, it's not it's not about gender either, but I'm just I just Okay. 
King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be. Somebody who is very cool, calm, and collected. They can think clearly on their feet. Um, they never back down from... It's dark. We have the Two of Swords. It's someone very discerning. They know how to make decisions. You know, you have the devil, but you have the king of pentacles right after it. So it really could just be a Capricorn person or someone that you meet during Capricorn season. But it's like they have made this decision here. And then the way that you have the king of pentacles here with this two of swords, it's very interesting. It's like they made this decision to be more grounded, you know, because maybe in their past they weren't. Maybe they did, you know, maybe they were used to be addicted to something or they used to be they used to have a different kind of a lifestyle but this is someone who has rehabilitated themselves and it's been a long time you know with this king of pentacles this is a long time energy you know this is kind of somebody who like you would never guess it it's like you see a monk and it's like oh yeah i used to be um you know I don't know what, but not a monk, <laughs> you know, and it's like you would never guess, you know, and they're so in this energy now for so much time. And it's like, this is really who they were meant to be all that time, you know, so this is an immense transformation that this person did, whereas it's something that is very like telling of their character because they're a very decisive person now. And they know how to make dreams come true because they did that in their life. And so it's like kind of like they're kind of been disappointed because they're wanting someone to share it with here. So I feel like this person is also looking for signs of love. They are looking for love or they're wanting to attract love. They have their eyes open for it. But this is someone who's not settling. You know, this is someone who, you know, they know what it is that they want and they know what it is that they bring to the table and they want someone you know they want to fall in love with someone they want this romance you know they want the person that is their person you know and this person when that happens they're gonna go for it they're gonna go for it because they don't want to miss an opportunity they don't want to miss an yeah they don't want to miss an opportunity that they're destined for they really don't. This person believes in fate. They believe in destiny. Oh, yeah. They believe that you're meant to be. They have very romantic beliefs. They have very, like, there's like a child. I keep getting a fairy tale childlike energy about this person. You know, they're going to do what they can to make your dreams come true. This is the kind of person that it's like, if you always wanted this cute little fairy tale house, they will just like get the materials, surprise you and like build it in your backyard or something. Like this is the kind of person that it's like, they want to make things happen for you that you have always wanted to have happen. Because that's just the kind of person that they are. That's just how they treat the people that they love. This person could have had somebody pass away when they were really young that was very significant, very important to them. And that put them into a dark time. That took, like pushed them. They had like difficult times. And this is what led them to like a life where they led to things to avoid thinking about something. They did things that were not necessarily to their benefit. Um, but even all that time, they were still a good person and they still had people rooting for them and caring for them. And they made the decision to heal themselves in a way that's like very like, oh, yeah, this person just like changed overnight. It looks like to other people. It's like you have a magic about yourself and this person also has that. So the two of you together, it's like, look at this chariot that flew out. <laughs> there are no blocks no blocks going forward and it's like the chariot knows how to utilize what it is that they have learned here you know because the chariot has this this um canopy of the stars and it has the crown uh that uh the high pri the empress wears and she has he has the moon slivers that uh the high priestess has he has the baton that the magician carries so it's like the cards that precede him, what, what the fool has been through before when the fool gets to the chariot, learn how to incorporate that into now and use that. So that is something that you have done. Your hardships in the past, you've learned from them and you learned how to 
how can I use this in my now to make it better? Not how can I feel sorry for myself, beat up on myself, uh, feel betrayed, blame this person, blame that person. And anybody doing any of those things, I'm not pointing the finger at them or judging them in any way, you know? Um, because we don't know what someone has gone through and we don't understand where they're at in their journey. And, you know, that's that. That's the right to their journey, you know? So no judgment. But if you can take it and you can learn from it and you can make your life better with it, how great is that, right? How great? And this is kind of like the fairy tale thing here with the princess and the frog, you know? She has learned in the princess and the frog that it's like hard work, hard work is what gets you going, you know, is what you have to work hard and that's it, <laughs> you know? And the prince, he's like, you know, this oyster here, you just, you know, uh, okay, good things happen and you just, just got to bank on those good things happening. And it's like, you know, then they kind of learn from each other here that it's like, yeah, you have to believe and beautiful things that they can happen, but you also have to put the inspired action into it. You know, you have to have that good heart and that, that compass, that moral compass as well. And it's like, you two have learned so much individually with like Princess and the Frog, they kind of came together together and learned things. But it's like, you guys already learned those things separately. So now you're just coming together as two complete whole people falling in love. So, you know, this could be a cancer person as well. I don't uh This could be a cancer person. Could be a Sagittarius person. They could have walked away recently from another relationship or something that they were not satisfied in. They could be traveling and they're not happy with where they are living. You know, it's like they're wanting something more. They could have just moved somewhere or something like that. There's some kind of a decision that was recently made by this person that is a kind of a, a, a major life decision here. You have the sun card here. So it's like there could be another Leo. They're definitely somebody who's very happy, very grateful for their life, very appreciative of their life. They see every day as an opportunity to you know, just love this life. And they're so grateful to be here on this earth. You know, there's something about this person. There's something that they like to go out in nature and do. Um, you know, they like kayaking or they like hiking or they like, you know, I don't know what it is, but you know, it's different for different people. Could be even riding horses, right? Because you got the horse here. You got the horse here. That might be something that you guys bond over. But uh, there is something here about just love and life. And look at this Ace of Cups and then the tower. So there is sudden love. There is sudden love here for you after, especially after a long time of, of not having it, victory. After a long time of not having it. And what is your advice? Is this discernment. You don't let somebody in if they're not worthy and that's that. You know, it's like you want somebody who matches your level and you're going to know because you're going to feel it. They're going to show you. You're going to open up slowly and they're going to be okay with that. Right? Right? You're not going to have to convince yourself because you're just going to be so excited and it's going to happen very, very naturally, you know, and physically their actions in this 3D world are going to tell you, not just some, you know, talker, right? That's very different. Also, I feel like the vision that you have for your life, this person has a similar vision for their life. And it's like the big picture of, I just want to enjoy this life and be grateful for this life. You know what I mean? There is like something here about this philosophy of loving life and having gratitude and being appreciative. You have similar morals. And this person listens when you speak and they the way that they treat you is going to show you that they want to protect you, number one, but they want to protect your love. That matters to them. They protect. It's like a very knight in shining armor kind of energy of like, I will go to war to defend this love. You know, they're a person that's like when there's a challenge, like if someone in your family doesn't approve of this person for whatever reason, this person is like, that's okay. You know, I'm going to do the work to show this person who I really am. Uh, because they're not going to put you in the middle. They're not going to be like, oh, what's wrong with your family that they don't like me, you know? They're not going to do that. They're going to 
want to do anything that they can to make things better for you. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just a, it's a very sweet kind of energy. It's a very kind kind of energy that is just so beautiful. You know, it reminds me, I keep seeing now my cousin, you know, her um, husband, you know, her family did not approve of her husband because of his ethnicity. And he was a nurse. And when her grandfather got very, very sick and needed home care, he went and took care of this grandfather. And by the, you know, the grandfather ended up loving, loving this person. And it changed him from judging people of this world to seeing that you can't, you can't do that. You know, and that people are all, you know, one. So it ended up being, and that was because that person decided, you know, he decided, her husband decided to, you know, no, you know, I'm just going to show love to this person. And I know that they're going to come around, you know, because I know that they have a heart in there somewhere, <laughs> you know, and like, that's what happened. <laughs> so I feel like this person has that kind of, just they just have such a big heart and so do you so it's like nobody deserves that as much as you do and so you need to know that you need to look at this enthusiasm yeah and then you have rebellion here so it's like yeah there isn't a, a rebellion but it's like this person is not gonna fight it's like someone who's like a giant and you're trying to fight them and it's like okay they're just not going to fight. Like, Why are you trying to fight me, man? Come on, it's okay, it's okay. And they're so strong that this other person is trying to fight them. But it's like they can't even, this person's attacking them and they're like helping them out. Relax, calm your, tie your shoe, man. You're going to trip, you're going to trip. Let's talk. Why are you so angry? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this person is just, they have a, the best attitude. They have the most optimism. And what's so beautiful is you do as well. And so that's what you're going to realize here. You have impulsiveness here. I feel like they're just excited about life. You're excited about life. You have the horseshoe here. So this is um, protection. This is this person will rush in to, to protect you uh, at any time. Again, with the horse, right? Something about a horse here. Do we need to look up the spiritual meaning of a horse? You have optimism. I'm telling you, this person is very optimistic. You know, this could be, you know, you're on a sinking ship and they're like, oh, well, you know, it's a great day to swim, you know. <laughs> like, this is a very positive energy. And I feel like it's just so refreshing because it's, you're not used to that. You haven't had that. And, you know, this is something that you really, really deserve here. I feel like you have been restless for quite some time. But this is all coming together here. It's all coming together now. And what a beautiful time for it to come together. Yeah, you have the manipulation card. It's not a negative card. It's, it's about using this energy to your advantage. And this, you know, striking me that this looks like the chariot card here because it has this, you know, the sphinx here. Okay, so it's like, you know, you're you're learning how to manipulate this energy to work in your to your advantage. And that's exactly what I was talking about with the chariot. You know, he has all of this energy he has all these tools that he has taken and that he's utilizing and he's learned how to use it to go forward he's this is learning how to manipulate energy to your advantage and this is what you're doing here yeah this is old order and then status you and this person having this beautiful status here together that i tell you people are going to see you people are going to see this new status that you have been elevated to you know this is this is something very big here that is coming in for both of you. And this is a beautiful blessing that you have had for a really long time. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. But it doesn't just end with passion. There's acquisition here. There's enterprise here. This is like, this could be a power couple situation where you end up working with this person. And you have this amazing sexual chemistry with this person. And you have the best conversation with this person. And you have so much fun fun with them and they're so caring and loving it's like a very well rounded energy this is like the best reading that you've had in a long 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 time you've been getting some really good ones lately so this is some beautiful energy for you to be in alignment with heck yeah leo i like love this so much for you okay so i'm going to close out with the angel's answer card these cards, you know, they it's like a yes or no question. 
can also give an indication of an amount of time. Um, so if you want to think of a particular question, do it. <laughs> can do that. Remain positive. Optimism. Don't stop. Meditation brings answers. There you go. For some of you, you've had a dream of this. You've been hoping for this for a long, long time. You have been getting downloads. You've been getting epiphanies. You've been having daydreams. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's going to happen. Don't stop. Keep going forward and remain positive. Because everything that you're imagining, that you're thinking, that you're believing, you're creating it in this 3D reality. And it's something that you're deserving uh, to have here. So thank you so much, Leo. I hope the video resonated with you. And if so, and you want to like or subscribe, that would be awesome. Okay. Also, I have a book. It's called One Light and it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested in that, it's available on Amazon and I have the link in the description. So Thank you so much and I hope I see you guys next time. Okay. Also happy holidays. Okay.